April's update from Micro RPG. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while, and I had promised myself I was going to do multiple videos a month, and it just hasn't happened. I've been just very busy, obviously busy making the games, um, which I'm sure you appreciate, but also with uh, a number of other things that I have to, to get done. So let's start off with um, the thing you voted on. So if you are a follower on Facebook and part of the Micro RPG Players Community Group page, you will often get the chance to vote on what you want to see next from the system or from the company. And this last uh, week here, we all voted and you guys said you were most interested in a superhero themed game. Uh, I'm even wearing <laughs> my Marvel shirt for, for you guys. And superheroes is something I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, but every time I've started a superhero project, for any of the old systems, it just like doesn't work out the way I want it. Um, I I had designed and playtested one for um, the one page system. I had started one for uh, multiple iterations of micro RPG up to this point, and they just weren't turning out. And it just I was having a hard time coming together with uh, a way to make all the powers that you could possibly imagine or want be accessible to you um, as a player um, and also have that work with the system. So that is something that people have been really wanting for a long time and I've tried to make, but uh, we're making some good progress on the new book. I have started working on it uh, last week. We have cover art and um, basically just a few uh, outline pages done um, with that for right now. So that should be coming out at the end of April or maybe next month. Uh, it just depends on how long it takes. Um, sourcing uh, decent superhero art is, is harder than getting fantasy art. Um, in fact, it seems to be like the genre that has the least awesome or cool art for it um, that is available to purchase online um, without having to um, pay out the nose for, for custom pieces. Um, and as you know, all of my books use uh, pre-made pieces that I can um, afford on a budget to keep the cost low for the, for the game books for you guys. So it'll, it'll be interesting to see how that book comes together. It's, so far it's got, a, it's got a beautiful cover and some, I've got some really good, good ideas going for it. So it just depends on how long it takes me to do. Um, in the meantime, I am working on a new book I announced, um, should be out in April, called Transcendent Heroes of the Power Dimension. Um, it was something I announced on the Transgender Day of Visibility, and it is a very trans-specific role-playing game um, for empowerment and, and strength, and you do get very kind of super-powered heroes in that as well, so I'll be sharing more uh, previews and teases and details about that over on Instagram and Facebook as it comes along, um, and hopefully it uh, it's something that people will really like, and something that you can enjoy whether or not you're part of the transgender community. Um, I think it's got a lot going for it. Uh, it's, it's a really neat world. The power dimension is this realm between realms where lots of like magical power accumulates and so all the characters are, are like supercharged with magic so that's pretty exciting and I hope you guys are going to really like that um, then I also am proud and happy to announce that I will be doing a, a zine for Goodman Games and their Dungeonfall Classic system um, I had teased that I was doing that before, but, uh, it's going to be very exciting because it's going to be, uh, like a, a very cool feminine empowerment type of, of game system. Um, now the process of like getting it actually published is a little bit more complex. So that will be, uh, quite a ways down the road, probably just because, um, you have to pitch your initial idea 
to Mr. Goodman and, and the company. Um, once they approve it, you sign the paperwork, and then you work on the project itself. Once the project itself is done, they have to approve that, um, and maybe it goes through edits or things like that. And then uh, have to print copies and send them to their to their warehouse so they can sell them to you guys directly from Goodman Games' website, and also providing them with um, PDF cells and things like that. So very cool and uh, a lot a lot of work for for that one to happen. So um, that one may might end up only being available through their website. Um, we'll see. I haven't decided yet um, how I'm going to go about doing that based on, you know, rules, regulations, rights, and everything for different platforms I sell on. So that's very exciting. And then I'm also working on one other zine that uh, kind of just, like, popped up randomly. I just, like... It was one of those days where... I just need, like, a creative day, so obviously every day is creative, but, like, I work hard all the time on micro-RPG or whatever the most current micro-RPG product is, uh, but sometimes I need to, like, just kind of, like, go willingly to the to the wind um, with some, some ideas, so I started working on something on one of my, like, open, creative, whatever days, um, just, just work on whatever I feel like and write down whatever I feel like, um, and I have really liked what's come out of it um, and that's all I'm going to tell you for now but it's going to be just a little zine book, it's going to be the older trim size um, zines are usually uh, a smaller size anyways so, but yeah, that'll be a standalone role playing game zine that I think people are going to really like So, uh, anyways, that's all for Micro RPG for right now and in April um, I'll try to do more video updates, especially to talk about, like, the progress on each of the books, because I know people want to hear about that. And also to show you, of course, the products themselves. People love seeing the videos of the products, so. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.